Hey Kiki fam, it's Kiki and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys learn how to navigate the new map. So I'll also be learning with you, but I have got a few quick, easy routes to get to the most commonly used places. So first off, I'm going to show you guys a little mapped out map. So it's not got everything on it because everything is like super small, so I wouldn't be able to fit writing on it. But I put the most important things, so I'll put it on the screen now. So as you can see, it's a bit hard to see, but you know, you have the training arenas, the racetrack, the boardwalk. The ghost is like the ghost horse, the witch is the cabin, the mines is where, um, you know, you do the mining. The dryad and the nightmare are the other two horses. I'll update that as soon as possible in like when we get another magical horse. So at the moment, that's that. And you obviously spawn in the stables and I don't think the dressage arenas are that hard to find. But anyways, I'll be putting it on the screen every now and then just so you guys remember. So the first thing is first, this is where the portal was is i mean but i never um added it into the map because it wasn't there when i was making this but it's here now if anyone wants it i think i've only teleported to it once or twice but i'd say i could do maybe like a moving vlog and this could be like a new stables or like a show stables i'm not sure if i want to stick to the old one let me know in the comments guys do you want the old map to be in my roleplay or do you want to like move to this one or do i just act like this is the one that i've always been using which i feel like wouldn't make much sense but these are the training arenas as seen on the map and the next place i'm going to show you guys is the mines so you go straight here to the rest of the arena another thing i like about the map is everything is so close together here like it's squashed into a main place and then everything else is like branching out so this is pretty simple you got a little mining sign which I wish on the map they would mark it, but, you know, you can't have everything, especially especially in a fresh launch, but you go across this bridge, pretty self-explanatory. You can do fishing down there, which is pretty cool, but you just go straight, and here's the mines. This is where the Nightmare Horse spawns. I should have shown you guys where the racetrack was, so we might just go back real quick because it's super near. The Dryad Horse took me a while to find. Honestly, I just wasn't even looking for it and I stumbled across for it but I was supposed to find it next I was actually shocked that I did find it and I did a lot of searching and I never found the ghost horse so I had to use a YouTube video but it actually should be easy to find because it's so big because it's in the graveyard but I had struggled so much finding it anyway I don't know why I went through the stables but you go past the stables kind of the opposite way of the training arena is the three one and the racetrack's right here it's pretty hard to miss and I didn't mark up the ho the house on the hill here because I mean it's not that hard to find but back here is the opposite of the um mines and also the back of the stables where you find all the horses for sale the indoor arena and then you enter a little town and this is weird but it reminds me of a miradero from spirit riding free where they had their little town and they had their buildings and you just kind of had a little road in between. I don't know why it reminds me of that, it just does, but yeah. Okay, so I don't know if it's my phone, but they still haven't fixed this glitch here. So hopefully they do that soon. I thought it'd be like just in the test game, but I guess they just haven't seen it yet maybe. So yeah, everything's really crammed together because it's Independence Day, which I mean, it's not really, but like they have it for a whole month. So there's fireworks here. I don't think you can like them up there. But here's their breeding center. Pretty nice. Vets. Everything is hard to miss because it's colorful and it doesn't really fit into the setting. But I do like the colors. It kind of brought us brought a bit of the old horse valley with us. But I mean, I think it should be more, you know, fit in more with the theme. But I feel like as soon as it gets changed, everyone's going to hate it and just never play the new map because... um. It changed like the aesthetic and then you're like oh horse valley is not horse valley anymore but you know it's confusing because some people want that and some people don't but i'm gonna stop with my rant and let's go find the next horse so we're gonna head for the dryad horse so i'm gonna take the, the way through the mines i feel like that isn't the best way you know what this is the quickest way so you run by the red barn slash the racetrack and you just follow the path here you go down here to like the beach and this is also another way to get into the mines if you're going that way and you're gonna go up here this isn't the safest way but you're gonna go down the mountain and across the river
And you're just going to follow this path up because you want to get around this mountain. Wait, I actually think it'd be quicker to go this way around the mountain. Alright, we're back and I'm so annoyed because what the hell, why did I have to disconnect just then? But we're going around this beach way because I think it's definitely better. But um, yeah, we just have to go up here. I actually really like the, che the trees because when we had Horse Valley Autumn, it was literally just orange like trees nothing else and i just love the mix of colors and it definitely like put green in it and it's not just orange which is great okay so you're gonna want to go through this little cave thing i don't know what it is but i'm honestly not sure if it's up here or not but yeah it is here i remember it should pop up because it's slow loading and there it is guys it's way easier to see this at night because you'll just see glowing stuff from far away and then when you get closer everything will load in so let me show you where it is on the map now the witch I literally just forgot where it was, but it is this way instead of the mines. I feel like you should have a one for a witch and one for the mines just to show you which way to go. But it's up here. I believe it's this way anyway. The witch and the mines are like the easiest place to find. At first, I was like, where am I going? I'm pretty sure I went all around the map first before finding any of these things. But I believe you go across the bridge here. Yeah, you do. And there should be some signs by now which is a bit annoying that there's yeah, I can see the roof. So there's a sign, yeah, there's a sign there and then there's another one in there. So I hope this is a good tutorial because like I know I'm going pretty fast. So the witch's thing is up here, there's a little arrow. And you can just, oh, yeah, you can just go here and there it is and you get a really good view and then you can just zip line down when you're ready. This looks like such a good place to have a house, like I love the flat land and everything, but yeah. I also love that you're able to run off mountains now, because in Horse Valley you were like, in the old map I mean you weren't allowed to, it like blocked it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the boardwalk, and I feel like, this is crazy, but I feel like this is the same way to the beach in the old Horse Valley. I know it doesn't make sense because it's completely like turned upside down, but it is the same way. It's basically the same. I know it's not, but it really is. Um, so I think the Ferris wheel is down there, pretty sure, because you can already see little beach things. I don't agree with these rocks on the beach. Like, this is just not right, because they're a bit random with the grass and everything. But, I mean, yeah. That looks, like, kind of in place. I feel like they mixed it very well, because it wasn't just straight. Like, it just been, like, cut perfectly, like, some or something like that. In the old first Horse Valley, they did have that, but it was very cartoony, and, like, I really liked it like that, but, you know. Anyway, we also have that little jump there because I remember I'd always like jump that little um, ramp when you were going to the beach. I'd always jump it. Oh, here's my house. That's cool. Um, so the boardwalk is right there. I could have just teleported to my house, but it's here. Uh, pretty simple to find. And I'm going to show you guys the last place, which is the ghost. Okay, sorry for being silent, but straight up from the uh, Ferris wheel. And you just go, wait. Okay, wait, I'm not close yet, am I? Oh, well, I technically am. You just go all the way up, and then you're going to turn here. So you're just basically climbing the mountain. It's like the old horse valley, the mountain that you have to go up constantly. Yeah, we're nearly there now. I hope this is the right way. I believe it is just to get up the mountain. And keep following the little road up, up, and yeah. I actually didn't even realize how far away the ghost um, thing is. Like, oh my gosh. So just keep following the little path. I hope this is like okay because I know it is confusing. The ghost horse is very confusing, but luckily for me, I don't really need to get any more ghost horses because I mean, I feel like one is enough. I think I have two, but one is really enough unless you want to trade one, and that's why I have two because one is for trade. Okay, guys, so I went up too high and I actually missed it. So, um, we're gonna go back a bit. I just wasn't paying attention to the map, and Lily goes really fast, so. So we just fell off the mountain, but it's this way. How did I miss this? It's right down there. How did I how did I literally run over the mountain? So just look for the dip and let me show you where it is on the map. So it's super simple because it's like that whole block of land. It's like a random shape. And let me show you on the marked one. So that's it there. And yeah, this is the ghost. Oh I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get teleported. But yeah, that's all the places. It's like nighttime now, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, just screenshot the map and just use it yourself because I did try my best, but I mean, 
I honestly don't know where I'm going, so. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button because, um, I don't know. If you enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell on so you get notified whenever I do upload. I know I took a tiny break, but I'm working a lot and I will continue posting videos throughout the summer. I remember taking like a five month break and I'm very sorry for that. So I won't do that again, hopefully. I'm going to enjoy my cookies now, but make sure to join my group. It's in the link in the description. Also join Cherry's group. Stormy Stables and Nora's group. If you guys don't know Nora, she's my trainer. She's my friend. Um, she won the uh competition for the best course when there was like a course thingy, course building competition on my group. But yeah, I'm in my private server right now. So if you'd like to join it, it's on the server link on my group, and you can just tap it on mobile or on computer. It works either way, but make sure to join my group. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to enjoy my cookies now, so thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!